There are three tiers to the Environments for Aging and Dementia Design Assessment Tool, or EDAT. The entry level is Tier 1, Age and Dementia Aware. This comprises six design fundamentals. Each of these describes small changes you can do to make environments more supportive of ageing and dementia. These changes can be applied to private homes or care homes, but it can equally be used in public spaces such as cafes, GPs' surgeries or libraries. No specific expertise is required to implement this tier. Fundamental 1 is about promoting an individual's ability by compensating for their disability. It'll help you find adjustments that can make a big difference, such as lowering signs for people with a stooped posture, ensuring that furniture is comfortable, easy to understand and use independently, and making sure that there's enough space for someone to get through if using a walking aid. In a home environment, these measures can make a real difference, improving quality of life, maintaining activities of daily living and enabling personal choice. Fundamental 2 is about helping an individual do as much as they can for themselves, improving self-esteem and confidence. In a public environment, you could look at making the premises easier to navigate, or making the doors easy to understand and open, and ensuring automatic doors allow enough time for people of all ability levels. But this is just as relevant in a home environment. For example, you could remove cupboard doors to improve visibility, which in turn prompts memory. And you could make a few simple colour changes to give better directional guidance, making items easier to see and use. Fundamental 3 looks at how we care for carers, many of whom are older and have age-related frailty themselves. Are you providing extra seating or space for the carer, or somewhere for them to wait? These adjustments can help to reduce burnout and admissions to long-term care. Unfamiliar environments can be confusing for people living with dementia. So Fundamental 4 focuses on making spaces easier to understand, navigate and feel at home in. It's important to make the space as comfortable as possible, with soft furnishings, photographs and even familiar smells. Clear signage is very helpful and can support continents. A large clock and calendar can reduce confusion. People who are ageing or have dementia can become more socially isolated, so Fundamental 5 is about maintaining human interaction. Are your premises easy to access from outside for people with impaired mobility? Are your staff dementia and age-related frailty aware? And if you have a social space, does it allow people to talk or interact easily? Is there a suitable place to make a cup of tea for yourself and for your guests? Everyone has their own taste for music, films and hobbies, so the final fundamental focuses on accommodating personal preferences. If someone enjoys sewing or reading, is the lighting at an appropriate level? Sound can cause a great deal of stress. Is it possible to control the background noise? or to dampen the noise level with soft furnishings? Is there an alternative area to sit quietly if preferred? All of the information about the six age and dementia design fundamentals can be found in the Tier 1 resources. There's a user guide, best practice examples and case studies. You'll also find a checklist with questions to help you make changes. If you can show you've met three or more of the fundamentals, you can apply for self-certification. You'll then be listed in the DSDC Register of Self-Certified Environments for Aging and Dementia Design. And you'll receive a printed certificate and window sticker to celebrate and promote your efforts, and a digital logo for use on your website and marketing materials. Tier 1 of EDAT is available now on the resources page at www.dementia.star.ac.uk